Right, today we are installing some LED strips. I'm going to put one under this cabinet and one under that cabinet. These little babies here cost just under £12 on Amazon and I'll stick a link in the video description so you can go and check them out. I did read quite a few reviews and most of them were quite positive. I didn't see many negatives. Obviously you're going to get some like they turned up broken and stuff like that or it didn't last very long. But most of them were pretty good. So with that, I'll show you around the product, see what you get for your money, and then we'll do the installation. Right, I'll quickly show you around the box. So it's an LED cabinet light CS2. As you can see, a nice little picture showing you what you get in and what it does. Gives you a couple of images. They're pretty nice, nicely packaged, nicely displayed. They wasn't sealed. This is how they actually turned up, unsealed. So what would you get? So you get a uh, power adapter with an on-off switch. Some cable length, hopefully. Well, I think that looks more than long enough for what I need it for. You get some bits and bobs. You get some more bits and bobs. And you get some more bits and bobs. So you get the manual. Let's have a quick look. So that's in English, and I think that's German. So English and German, so that's pretty good. We only need the English. Uh, so you get some stickies. Yeah, for adding the strips. Let's have a look at the main body. So this is your actual strips. So it's got a connection there, so basically you just plug that in like that. And I will be testing that in a second anyway, just to make sure it works. I don't want to install it and then I find out, oh, I've got a dub one, it doesn't work. So these are your cut-off points, these little strips here, for cutting with a pair of scissors. And I would imagine these are all your little joints. I'm just going to pour them out. Yes. So these are U-bends. So if you want to do a U-bend, which I'm going to be using... I'm going to run one one way and then one the other. So you get three of them. Uh, these are extended strips. So if you need to extend it for any reason. And you get three of them. I'm not sure how long they are. Let me check. Right, so the plug lead is 1.5 metres. Uh, the main strip is 500 millimetres. The U-connect is 80 millimetres and the straight connectors are 170 mil. So there you go. And then you've got these little connectors here. So if you just want to connect where you cut them from, you can use them. And oh, these are just uh, little grips to hold it if you just want to use these. So basically that will go in there, same like that. You stick that to the top or wherever you're going to stick it and that will hold it in place. So that is all the gubbins that you get for just under £12. Like I said, not a lot of money, so with that, let's do the installation. <clears throat> right, first things first, let's make some space. So that should be enough. Yeah, I'm going to test it first, make sure it works like I said earlier. Just plug her in. Connect. Switch it on. Oh, would help, wouldn't it? Oh, there you go. Works straight away. So there you go. That's what they look like. See that? Yeah. Da, da, da. Nice and bright. We are changing out the tile, so this would be perfect. So once I've finished, I'm going to put them in either that one or that one. And, uh, and we're going to retile all this all the way around and bury the cables. So the first things first, we need to find out where we're going to actually put, run it. So it's brighter than I thought it would be, which is good. So this is the lead one, so you need this one first. Let's move all these bits so I don't lose them. Want cleaning under there, so that'd be the first job to clean under there. I think didn't realize how dirty that was. Right, 
Right, one thing to note with these babies, it's not been designed so that you can just cut them off. If you want to cut them off, you can, which is these little points here, but you can't rejoin them. They already come with join points on them at selective intervals. There's another one down there. So basically, if you want to finish it there, you just pull it off, and there you go. So it will not come with rejoining connections. So if you want to cut it, you'll have to do a bit of soldering to rejoin them together. So, right, let's get on with it then. So, quickly have a measure up. So obviously I want the first one to go out the back. Let's see how long I want it. Let's see where the pull-off points are. So that's a bit too long for me. I could do it like that. Do it like a little L shape. Let's get the L shapes out. All the L bends. Well, obviously the cabling wants tidying up, but before I do that, I'm just going to test it. Yeah, let's have a look. Oh yeah, I mean, I could have moved it centrally, but it does the job. It lights it up really well. I don't need kitchen lights anymore. I've got under lights. So yeah, it's quite easy to do. It's a little bit fiddly as you would expect, and it looks really good. So the wife can come on here, just flip the switch on, and away she goes. Right, a couple of things to bear in mind. Before you start moaning at me, I've tidied up the cable in as best I can, and I've used some sticky to hold it in place. Like I said earlier, most of this cable is gonna be buried at a later stage when we retile, so there's no point in me doing the wiring a nice job. I use double-sided tape on this to hold it in place, which come with it, by the way, and holding the cables in place, and just cable tied that to make it nice and tidy. Also, I deliberately offset the lights so they'll offset, and the reason for that is because we are moving this cabinet over to the end towards the wall, so it'll be right on the edge of the wall. So I deliberately offset the lighting so at the moment it finishes about there and we're going to move it over to about there or maybe a bit further it should be about there but if i'm not happy with it i'll just unstick and re reapply it and we are going to be putting another cabinet in there so that's it for this one obviously i've got to do that one over there and i'll be doing that next so in the meantime if you have any comments please post them below if you like this video give me the thumbs up if you didn't like it give me the thumbs down and uh, please subscribe Thank you very much for watching. Oh, better turn the lights off. See what it looks like in the dark. Yeah, pretty good. See the difference. Yeah.